excellence among those responsible for a multi- One of the more pleasant duties of the Army's Chief of Staff occurs each year in the Pentagon. It is to express the Army's recognition of one special soldier from among a special breed of soldiers as he presents the Stephen Ailes Award named in honor of the former Secretary of the Army who initiated the drill sergeant program in 1964 to the man chosen as the Army's outstanding drill sergeant of the year. Yet as rewarding as any in the Army. On behalf of the drill sergeant of the United States Army, which I believe I represent here today, Mr. Ailes, thank you very much. We do appreciate what you have done for the program and in helping us become what we are today. What is a drill sergeant? To many soldiers, he's many different things. To officers and non-commissioned officers, he's a professional to be respected and even envied for his ability. To junior officers and non-commissioned officers, he is a man to whom they may turn for help and advice. To the first sergeant, he's a product of a way of life and a subordinate which can be depended upon. To the trainee, he is a drill sergeant, the head, the man to be reckoned with, the boss. He's instead of discipline, the rock of courage, the guiding light, the man who never gets shaken. You can see this on me today, here. <laughs> He's the father, the mother, the big brother, the chaplain, and many times a lot more. In training, he's a man who... To receive this award is a special honor. It says, in effect, this man is the best from among the best. Because the drill sergeant of today's army is not only a professional soldier, but the world's best maker of soldiers. A man of patience, skill, knowledge, dedication, and maturity. A man who is firm but fair. A man who demands a 100% effort from trainees, but who respects the individual's dignity and looks after their welfare. In today's big picture, we'll take a look at the man behind the title. See what he is and what he does. What it is that makes him the drill sergeant. Good morning, men. I'm Drill Sergeant Martin. Well, the first time I saw him, he scared the hell out of me. All right, men, settle down. Good morning, men. I'm Drill Sergeant Martin. Uh, first time I saw him, he scared the hell out of me. Of course, you know, I wasn't used to this kind of environment. I'll be your drill sergeant for the next eight weeks or until you finish your basic combat training. It's my job as your drill sergeant to see that you get the most out of these weeks. And it's your job, starting now, to absorb the instruction that you receive. You think about it. You'll see it makes sense. When it comes to the Army, I know what it's about, and you don't. So listen and learn. Just a few hours ago, you were a civilian. A couple of hours from now, you'll be in Army uniform, but you'll still be more civilian than soldiers. Eight weeks from now, you'll be well-trained in the basic skills that every soldier has to have. You'll be ready to go on into advanced training to qualify you in a military specialist, and you'll be in shape. I'll see to that. From now on, what you're going to be is busy.
drill sergeant oversees the fitting and issuing of clothing, as well as numerous aptitude tests which the new trainee must take to determine what job he is best suited for in the Army. All right, man, move ahead and form three ranks of your duffel bag. Let's go, quickly, quickly! Well, he talked was rough and everything, but I think we get a lot out of it. Because, you know, that's what they're here for, to teach us, because they've been through the same thing before. All right, men, when I dismiss you from this formation, I want you to move in the billets on a double. I'll be in to show you how to set up your area. The drill sergeant. The guy with the hat. And the boots you can see your face in. Men with the leadership qualities and the professional know-how to teach civilians how to be soldiers. These are special men. Ask any trainee. Ask any commander in a training brigade. Special men. Where does the Army get them? Where do they come from? They come from schools like this. There's at least one in each Army area throughout the United States. When a drill sergeant candidate checks in at such a school, whether he's been assigned or has volunteered, he's already an outstanding soldier. Otherwise, he wouldn't be here. He has to be physically in shape to do the job. He has to have that quality known as military bearing, emotional stability, a clean service record. In other words, he has to have the makings of a leader. If he has, the school can build on his experience to qualify him as a drill sergeant. Six weeks of instruction, 240 hours of classwork, testing, practical demonstration, all of it demanding. Among those taking the drill sergeant course are men of the Army Reserve. They wear no special identification. In fact, most instructors don't know which candidates are reservists and which are regulars. They take the same course, meet the same high standards, and succeed or fail on their individual merits. Returning to reserve units across the country, they are important men. Should a nationwide mobilization ever be called for, the Army Reserve will have a large role to play in training the massive army that would have to be quickly created. And competent drill sergeants will play a key role in that training. By graduation time, the 70 to 80 percent of the class which has made it through is composed of men whose already strong leadership potential has been honed and polished to a high level of professional competence. Traditionally, the honor graduate of each class of drill sergeants is recognized. In this school, this special recognition takes the form of a parade saber engraved with his name and the date of his graduation from drill sergeant school. As of now, they are drill sergeants. Like every graduation, this is an ending and a beginning. They'll go from here to training companies or back to their reserve units and begin to practice their distinctive trade. Thousands of others have gone before them and more will follow because the need for them is great. It's an ending and a beginning. All the intense training of the drill sergeant school is aimed right here, at the point of contact between the professional soldier instructor and the soldiers to be that are in his charge. This afternoon you will learn disassembly and assembly of the M16 rifle. And the first step in disassembly of the weapon is to clear it.
You do this by pulling your charging handle all the way... To all the, the intense training of the drill sergeant school is aimed right here, at the point of contact between the professional soldier, instructor, and the soldiers-to-be that are in his charge. And the drill sergeant is there for one purpose, to prepare his trainees to function as soldiers, to give them the know-how that will make them effective soldiers. Once you get it out, separate the two, place your action spring in the appropriate place, and then your buffer assembly. All right, good. Now we're going to take it in reverse order, step by step, and reassemble the weapon. Now you're going to do this many times. You've got to really learn how to take care of this weapon, even if it means in the darkness or sitting in a foxhole in the mud. You take care of the weapon, it'll take care of you. All right, the first step in assembly of the weapon is to pick up your action spring. Open rank. Oh. The drill sergeant school conducts considerable instruction with practical exercises on the subject of inspections. Small wonder if the graduates of the school do the job with efficiency and style. Fourth rank, steady. Right up, on. Second, third, and fourth rank, parade, third. Inspection tells you several things. One is the state of training that the man is in. I myself normally go by the way he wears his uniform. All his buttons are always buttoned. His uniform is neat. His gig line is straight. Boots are shined. You never have to instruct him on shaving. He's neatly groomed at all times. It's what I've been told a long time ago. You've got to have that fine, thin line between you and the trainee. I'm a firm believer that you've got to keep your distance if you're going to get any respect from them. I want to call your attention. I want all 40 sets of heels to come together at the same time, and I want you to sign off with the word SNAP, S-N-A-P. As you might expect, a drill sergeant is right at home when it comes to teaching a platoon the fine points of the teamwork that is drill. Parade! He stands up, he gives command, he's rough, you know he's rough. Because he's been in battle before, many battles before. In Kato Street, hey! One, two! In Kato Street, hey! One, two! Right? I classify them as professional. They have a job to do, and they do the best they can. They're just professionals, that's all. The drill sergeant gains the ability to spot potential leaders in his platoon within the first few days of basic. He knows what to look for. <laughs> Pride in himself, right away. If the man is wearing his uniform properly, and he's responding to all commands or orders, then this tells you right away that you've got a good, a good soldier in the making. As they move through the days together, the drill sergeant continues to mold the unity and teamwork of his platoon and sees the signs that he is succeeding. Well, you've got a group of 50 men out there working together, and you've got something big coming up the next day, a PT test, for an example. And you tell them, OK, we're going out there tomorrow, and we're going to come out high on the PT test. And they go into the PT test, and you can see them going through the different events. The mile run is a good example. Fifth of them will start running at the same time. One might fall out. Yet the rest won't let him quit. They can't touch him, or he's disqualified. But they help him. When you see this, you know this is a good group that's working together. Come in. Have a seat. What's your problem, Ben? Counseling trainees is another of the drill sergeant's duties. In the course of experience, he hears a lot of problems. He learns to sort out the real from the fictitious, and he knows the options open to the trainee in getting a real problem solved. The way they say is, if you got a problem, go to your drill sergeant and explain it to him. And I feel if you go to him and talk like a man, man-to-man -man talk, 
don't don't sound like a little boy, or like you're afraid, afraid of it. You can get it soft. She's sick and didn't have a baby and all that, and I have to start doing the house. Many drill sergeants are young in years, but there is a maturity that comes through. We sat down one night and tried to guess the ages of the drill sergeants, and I overshot them by at least five to ten years each one. As long as you don't have to do it. I think after we've gone through all these steps, I think this should just about solve your problem. Thanks, Sergeant. I sure do appreciate that. I want you to get back out to training, set your mind at ease, and concentrate on nothing but training. We'll work it out. Thanks again, sir. No sweat. If you go to them with your problem, they'll try and help you. Are we ready on the right? The right is ready, ready left. The left is ready, the fire line is ready. Fires, watch your lane. They're up, they're up, they're up. The drill sergeant knows better than most that each step in the trainee's progress from civilian to soldier is built upon the steps that have gone before. Each step is important, and he watches over the progress of his people day by day with a concentration that never varies. The training being supervised by today's drill sergeants is the refinement of generations and is geared to the time and the type of combat the soldier of today is likely to encounter. First thing you want to do is flex both knees slightly. Put most of your weight on that trail leg. Bring your left hand up in front of your throat region. Fingers extended and joined. Elbow down against your side. Take your, tray, your lead hand, your right hand, bring it up. Break the elbow at a 45 degree angle. You should be looking over your fingertips. Fingers extended and joined. I to demonstrate a vertical blow to the head region. With the lead hand, shoot it straight forward. Palm down, fingers extended to join, striking your opponent in the nose region. Very quickly withdraw the hand in the same position. At combat speed, the movement will look as follows. Demonstrator, on the dummy. Demonstrator, vulnerable blow to the head region. Oh! Ah. On the dummy, demonstrator, vulnerable blow to the head region. Oh! Ah. Relax. Demonstrator, hold guard. Oh! On the dummy, demonstrator, side kick. Oh! Side kick. Go. Oh. Relax. Demonstrator, home guard. Oh. On the dummy. Demonstrate a pivot kick. Go. Oh. 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 Relax. On the dummy. Demonstrate a counter to a rear body hole. Arms free. Go. Oh. Oh. Counter to a rear body hole. Arms free. Go. Oh. Oh. Counter to a rear body hole. Arms free. Go. Oh. Oh. Step by step, and day by day, that's how it happens. Soldiers are made, not born. The drill sergeant supervises his trainees in the closest thing to real live action. Close combat, it's called. When the trainees finish this, they think of themselves as battle-hardened veterans.
For the drill sergeant, it's never an eight-hour day. Okay, man, there's a few things I'd like to go with you pertaining to this last exercise. On the whole, it wasn't too bad, but you team leaders have to remember. Once you tell that rifleman to get up and move forward, he moves forward. On the double, get down into a covered position and take up a fire. Like our, our drill sergeant, he's been fire. taking us out to ranges. He's been, you know, taking care of us everywhere we go. Eight weeks is really a very short time for a group of citizens to become soldiers. It's a major transition, but it happens all the time. Every week, there's another training cycle ending. Another two months of intensive effort and learning and accomplishment coming to a close. Sergeant really is pretty important as far as he shapes your whole attitude toward basic. If you have a drill sergeant who uh, tries to help you in his understanding, treats you like a man, uh, calls you out for your mistakes, but if you do well, he rewards you, you're going to get a fairly good outlook and uh, that'll help you a lot, basic. You've got to have a, a good outlook to get through basic. Right? He got you on the right frame of mind the first day we got here. This is the kind of man that I know everyone dream of being, but it's, it's, it's got to be built up on the inside to be this kind of man. I'm going to sum it up like this. I just like working with human beings. When I see them pass in front of that reviewing stand, if they're all in step and looking good, then I figure my mission has been accomplished. The cycle ends, and the men that were his platoon move on. You wonder, does he ever run into any of them again? All the time. I was even walking down the street in Vietnam one day, and this jeep passed. And this first lieutenant screamed out, Hello, Sergeant Martin. And I stopped, and I couldn't even recognize him. But he knew me, went on to become an officer. Another cycle finished. Another platoon of men shaped up. But as any drill sergeant can tell you, there are always more where they came from. Yeah. All right, you men, get settled down. Stop the milling around. Uh, first time I saw him, he scared the hell out of me. Good morning, men. I'm Drill Sergeant Martin. I'll be your Drill Sergeant for the next eight weeks or until you finish your basic combat training. It's my job to see that you get the most out of these... <laughs> 